Hey guys, uh, Dr. Duino here, aka Guido, or uh, the other way around. Uh, anyway, so let's get to it. Today we've got our little surprise that I mentioned to you guys in the other day's update, uh, and it's about RS-232. So let's take a look at what I got for you. All right, guys, so here is our Dr. Duino board, and what we're going to be talking about right now is this jumper block right here. And what this guy is for is to configure the RS-232 portion of the uh, Dr. Duino board. There's three modes of operation. There's pass-through, loopback, and RS-232. If you put it into uh, pass-through by jumping pins 1 and 2 like this, it just routes the signal from the Arduino board below it to your top stack. The second mode is loopback. So let's say you're trying to debug an issue where um, you want to see actual real traffic coming out of the TX port of the Arduino board uh, and coming back into the Arduino board uh, just as a sanity check. All you have to do is jump these two pins together and you're now in loopback mode. Now for the cool part, this is the, the uh, promised uh, new feature, is when we put it into RS-232 mode, what I've added is some um, LEDs to monitor your traffic so now you don't actually have to um, rely on an oscilloscope or anything. You can just look at some visual indicators. So this light here is the TX line of the Arduino. And I'm just going to go behind the curtain here for a moment. And there we go. Now what you see is this light is steady, steady on. And what you'll also notice is that down here is another LED, and that is your receive traffic. So now you can easily diagnose uh, if you're getting traffic on your TX and RX lines simply by looking at some visual LEDs. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There is Dr. Duino's new feature, uh, being able to monitor our RS-232 traffic with just some uh, LEDs for both the RX and the TX lines. Hope that makes your debugging life a little bit easier. Until next time, thanks.